Are you sick and tired of spending all your money and time chasing your gray roots, worrying before you go on vacation if you need to cover them, worrying about them before a special event? Are you tired of dealing with spending hours in a salon chair while your hair gets colored or spending hours in your bathroom dyeing it yourself? If you are at that point where the idea of dyeing your hair again fills you with dread, do not make the biggest mistake that I made. This single mistake that I made delayed my gray hair transition for years past when I was ready to begin my journey to naturally silver hair. And I don't want that to happen to you. Okay, so here's what happened. When I was in my late 40s, probably around 47 or so, I decided that I was done dyeing my hair. I hadn't really investigated it yet, but I'd seen women over the years with gray hair who looked good and they were still in their 30s or 40s. And I thought maybe this would be good for me. It was before the pandemic and before a lot of people were talking about going gray. I went into the salon and I had been seeing this great colorist in my area. She was well known for her beautiful work. And it was true, she did gorgeous dye work. But at that point in my life, my hair was too dark for my face. It wasn't looking right anymore and I was sick of the damage. My hair was frizzy, it was dry, it was thinning. And I had a friend who went gray beautifully and the way she did it was she just grew out these long money pieces on either side of her head. So she grew just these parts out and she left the rest dark and it was really striking and gorgeous. I thought well, that might be a good way for me to test the waters and see how I like this. So I went to the stylist and I broached the subject with her and I didn't put it in like in a bossy or rude way. I just said, I've been thinking I might like to go gray. And so she instantly got a bad look on her face, like a, oh God, where is this going look? But I continued, I said, my friend went gray by growing out these two strips on either side of her head. I think I'd like to try that. Let's do that this month. And she just looked at me and she snapped and she said, you're gonna look old. And she didn't even wanna discuss it. It's like, she, there wasn't even an option. But because of the way I am, I said, this is what I wanna do. I'm ready to start. So she sighed heavily. And then she proceeded to do a really sloppy job. It's like, she just left like this much of my hair undyed and it was like a patch and not on both sides just like one rectangle here and an idiot not to be mean to myself i did what a lot of us do in these kind of situations i i felt vulnerable i'm sitting in that chair she's got my hair in her hand she's got the chemicals you you are in a vulnerable position and so I just let her do what she was gonna do. And I paid her and I tipped her like usual. And then, which I find hard to believe now, I kept going to her for two or three more years. Even though she made it so clear, she didn't care what I wanted to do with my own hair. She made an ageist remark about how I would look old. And uh, she was just so rude and, and a jerk about it. She could have said, okay, let's look into this. Or you know, I'm not really fond of gray hair, but..." Why do you want to do it or whatever? But she was so rude and I still went back. My biggest regret is that I kept going back to her. So my advice to you is if you have a stylist who gives you a very negative reaction when you broach the subject of going gray, it might be time to find a new stylist. Now, of course, could you educate your stylist? Could you make him or her see why going gray would be good for you or why you want to do it and get them on board? You might be able to, but if your stylist has such a negative reaction like mine did, the chances of you changing their mind is pretty slim. Do you really want to pay money to somebody who makes you feel bad for your choices? I don't, and I don't know why I put up with that for so long. I'm actually a pretty outspoken person. I think though, it's two things. One is that because I had this relationship with her and she'd done a good job for me in the past, I felt weird breaking things off over the way she acted that one time. And the other thing is, let's face it, a lot of us do have a fear of looking older than our age. And when she said, you'll look old, even though I didn't like it that she said that, I still hadn't educated myself enough on my feelings about getting older and going gray. And does gray hair mean you're old? No, it does not. Once I reached age 50, I decided I was done with all that. I didn't care anymore. I was gonna go gray and nobody was gonna stop me. I had just reached my limit. And so luckily for me, I did find a supportive stylist. I will tell you how to do that in a second. My new stylist supported me throughout my gray hair transition and she still supports me today. She dyes her hair, I don't and she doesn't give me flack for it and I would never give her flack for dyeing her hair. We each have our own reasons for doing what we do. Having that support when you're going gray makes all the difference because let's face it, even with all the supportive stuff out there right now, including my blog and all these other support networks and the pandemic uh, 
people who came forward and became gray during that time. There's a lot more support than there was even five years ago, but it still can be an emotionally difficult decision to go gray and it can still cause some tensions in your own mind and maybe with family and friends. You want the stylist who is dealing with your hair to be 100% there for you. Okay, how do you figure out if your stylist is gray friendly? The best way to find out if your stylist is supportive of gray hair is to ask. Just tell him or her, listen, I've been thinking about going gray, I'm excited about the idea, and I've been thinking about this or that method of going gray, and I would love your support, what do you think? If they have a very negative reaction, I'd say it's time to go find a new stylist because changing their mind is probably not going to work. Now, if you're lucky, they'll be excited for you, they'll come up with some ideas, and you can chart out how you're gonna do it. Are you gonna go to cold turkey? Are you gonna do the dye strip technique? Are you going to cut your hair short or leave it long? Are you going to transition to gray hair through salon methods? These are all questions that a good stylist who is supportive will want to discuss with you. Now, if your stylist isn't interested in discussing how to go gray with you, is not interested in any of the different methods of going gray, tells you that the color will look bad on you, or your gray hair will not be a pretty color, or it's gonna make you look old or whatever, I think it is time to find a new stylist because those kind of outdated feelings about gray hair are very hard to change. And do you really want to deal with that? Do you really want somebody who doesn't like your decisions to work on your hair? I don't, and I wish I hadn't put up with it for so long. Now you're probably wondering, how do I find a new stylist who's supportive? There might be many stylists out there who are not. The good news is I'd say since the pandemic, there are many more stylists out there who are willing to work with you to embrace your gray hair. Obviously it takes a financial toll on stylists. I can understand why they might not be enthusiastic about doing it, but if you want to do it, they should work with you. So to find a new stylist who is supportive, do these things. First, check with your gray hair friends if you have any and find out where they go. Personal recommendations are some of the best recommendations out there. So if your friend has a good stylist who is friendly to her gray hair, then make sure you check with her first. If that doesn't work, go into a gray hair Facebook support group or go into your local neighborhood Facebook group and just ask, look, I have gray hair. I'm trying to find a stylist who will support me in my transition. Do you have any recommendations? Now, the other thing you could do, if either those don't work or if you just want to try it out anyway, is go to my salon directory. I have a gray friendly salon directory that I created after my debacle so that other women could find stylists who would support them. Every single salon in this directory was recommended to me by a fellow Silver Sister, either in my Facebook group, Silver Revolution, or in real life, I've met them. I've also gotten stylists who've written to me and they want to be listed. Now, if you want to transition to gray hair through salon methods, that's a question you need to ask because not all gray friendly salons are able to do that. That takes some expertise. If you do not find a salon in my directory that can help you, if you don't want find one through friends or family or your neighborhood Facebook group, the next best thing is to see if you have an Aveda salon in your neighborhood. Aveda salons do tend to be gray friendly. That's how I found mine. And my stylist, Ava, is the best and she's been so supportive and it makes all the difference. Aveda salons do tend to be great for gray hair, but you still have to ask. So find your local Aveda salon, and call and just ask directly, hi, I have gray hair or I want to go gray. I want to know if you have a stylist at the salon who's supportive of gray hair. If you want to transition to gray at the salon, I highly recommend you find a salon that has experience. Read reviews, see before and after pictures. Don't just take their word for it because believe me, hair disasters can happen when you are treating your hair chemically to go gray, bleaching disasters, hair falling out, hair turning green. You do not want that. You want a stylist who knows what they're doing. So make sure you get one and read their reviews and make sure you watch the next video from Color Lounge. I did this interview with them a couple years ago and they give lots of tips and tricks for how to have a successful salon transition. Happy hunting. Hope you have great luck with your transition and don't do what I did no matter what.